And I got really excited when I saw that you could free look how you're pitching. But actually, I was if you... um, holy fuck! What the fuck? Holy shit! Yo, what's up guys? So I've actually been enjoying 2042. Still probably going to enjoy it a little bit more, but I am a Battlefield player. It's actually more of a dying breed. I'm a pretty hardcore fan of the franchise and I'll just play the games regardless of issues sometimes. Thing is, not everyone is like this and 2042 really has to follow the basic rules and I'd argue actually laws of the gaming industry. Players need content and once you build some hype and people are having fun, it's not going to last forever. The game might be hot for a minute, but you're going to have to add some fuel to the fire at some point. Anyways, with the recent updates to the game, we've got to notice that the next season is actually over 50 days away, and it's unlikely any more real content will come until then. To me, that's really sad. The game was actually picking up some pace, and season one has actually been really good. If they rode the wave, who knows what would have happened, but I guess DICE isn't really going to do this. But from my perspective, Twitch numbers were actually approaching what I saw on the first week of the game, and it was awesome seeing so many more people checking the game out. Unfortunately though, we don't only have a lack of content. This update that's just been released has been causing some havoc. There's a few decent changes there, some absolutely ridiculous brain dead changes as well though, and a lot of bugs have actually returned. So starting with the good, the hind of the condor have been nerfed. I don't know if it's a result of all the good players just absolutely abusing the hell out of it, but to be honest, these nerfs aren't really enough, but they are a start. The changes are focused on the 50mm cannon, and it's been nerfed to have a 40 fire rate, which is down from 110. It now also reloads a lot slower to match that fire rate nerf. Honestly, the most broken part about it was the damage, and it still is a damage, and it's, it's all still there. It's still going to be really, really strong against vehicles, and the transport issues are most likely still going to exist, especially with the really good players who mastered the lead on it. Just in case DICE wants advice though, here it is. Nerf the engine power so it doesn't instantly command high ground. At the moment, you can be way above a transport helicopter and he'll just hold W and get above you and all his gunners can shoot you. It has the most engine power out of any of the helicopters and it's just a transport. You've also got to reduce the health by about 25% and then just see how that goes. I think that'd be enough of a nerf to be honest. They've also nerfed the Nightbird's pods, which is fair enough, but they are far from strong these days. The miniguns also definitely need some love, they just get hit markers all day, and the flight model was changed with season 1, and it just feels really weird and janky, I just have no idea why they've changed the flight model. There's also something called the ground magnet, as a lot of people call it, which is where the heli kind of sucks itself to the ground as soon as you get close. They actually fixed this with a few updates ago, and then they've brought it back with season 1. It's a really, really clunky thing where you're trying to fly close to the ground, and then the heli just gets sucked in. It doesn't make any sense, and what's so annoying is that they actually fixed it, and now they've brought it back. Another interesting change was the buff to the 25mm cannons on the jets. These now have more damage, less damage fall off, and much less spread. In theory, these should be pretty good, but the jets are just very tricky to aim, and they just suck to fly. People always ask me what I think of the jets and why I don't fly jets anymore. They actually made the jet flight model infinitely worse than it used to be. So firstly, I think the F-35 is now the better jet out of the two. I'm not sure, but I know it's still lopsided where one jet is better than the other. And then now they've nerfed the roll rate of the jet. So before the jet rolled kind of nicely, but the, the pitch was really, really slow and it felt really, really clunky. Now they have slow pitch and slow roll. So it just feels like you're flying a uh, an absolute brick. It's not fun at all to fly. Now for the most controversial and undiscernible change they've made though, the BSVN likely the strongest gun in the entire game, was given a huge buff. I mean, this thing was seriously broken, and some of us actually thought it was the strongest weapon ever in a Battlefield title. Just for perspective, it will chest and then headshot pretty much across the map, and all two-tap headshot, I think, anywhere. So it, it is extremely strong. It's full auto, very low recoil, subsonic or silenced rounds, so you can't really track where it's coming from, and then it has this insane damage model. Well, DICE don't seem to think it's very strong, and it actually got buffed. It had its bullet speed increased from 700 now to 790, and the headshot multiplier was also increased from 1.9x to 2.2x. Now I know most of these changes were all matching in all the DMRs, but DICE has to just see that this gun and the SVK are actually really, really overpowered. Those two DMRs are extremely good, 
so they shouldn't be included in these blanket changes. You have to change weapons individually because sometimes there's little outliers like this BSVM, which isn't even really a DMR. It's more of a really slow firing battle rifle or assault rifle. Anyways, I doubt it'll be super noticeable because of how strong the gun already was, but just the direction of buffing that weapon is really hilarious. Literally the best gun in the game and it's got a buff. You know, I don't know dice, maybe consult some players first before doing these kind of things because seriously, I cannot understand why this happened. Anyways, to end on a more positive note, we have attack jets now. These things are awesome and by far the best jets that DICE have brought into the game. The A-10 actually has some form of speed control like the previous games and the flight model isn't really that bad. Rear cam actually also works so you can look behind you while turning and overall the A-10 is a great jet. But apparently the SU-25 has a different flight model which isn't too good but to be honest I could barely tell I wasn't really dogfighting at all so it's hard to know exactly what you can get done without really pushing the jet to its limits. The worst part though is you basically can't find servers to fly these, they're exclusive to Portal and it's really really hard to actually get your hands on one of these things. Almost all the Portal servers are like extreme 500% hardcore, your realism milsim type bullshit. It's not really fun at all, I don't really understand why people are so obsessed with that kind of stuff but each their own. Just please dice, please 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 add these things to the base game so everyone can use them. They're absolutely awesome and literally would be a drag and drop addition to the game. Finally, with 2042, there's always tinfoil hat theories with every update, people complaining about ghost nerfs, ghost buffs, things that are changed or made worse without really taking any note of it. Some of these things definitely do happen, but it is really hard to know what's true and what's not. Supposedly though, we have worse hit reg and some returning bugs here like falling through the map. If true, it's not really a good thing, but as always with this game, there always does seem to be issues. I really don't take it that seriously, I just try to have fun and I mainly play on stream and somehow, I don't even know how, I've actually been enjoying season 1. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, let us know what you think and DICE, please add the A10, I'll literally pay you for it. Take it easy everyone, peace.